Hey folks, welcome. Welcome back to another episode of Inspiring Choir. It's your girl Regina here. And Shani, how are you? We are just loving this journey. Thanks so much for being a part of it. You know, today we actually have a special guest. It's our first time having an official guest on our show. Yeah, it's not the hobbies. It's actually another <laughs> male. <laughs> and um, we're going to be talking about introvert versus extrovert. So we're going to have our dear friend Kyle Chin join us and just have a discussion about what it means for all of us whether we're introverts or extroverts yeah we'll talk about we'll talk about what it means and also we'll be discussing the social implications of it and then we'll be looking at maybe some of the misconceptions mm -hmm. of it as mm -hmm. well and then sharing kind of our you know experience with being either an introvert or an extrovert if you guys were to take a guess right now mm. i want you to do that <laughs> do you think regina is an intro or an extra and from what you've seen of me so far, do you think Shani is an intro or an extra? Should be very interesting. All right, let's join Kyle Chin all the way from Jamaica. How are you, Kyle? I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? We are great. Thanks for being our first official guest on Inspiring Choir. We're happy to have you. Very excited. Very. So let me let me ask you this. What's your Instagram handle in case anyone wants to just check out who you are? I am at Afro-Asian Jamaican. All right. Fair enough. Sounds good. <laughs> Sounds good. Who, who is Mr. Kyle Chin? Well, um, Kyle Chin is a filmmaker and a martial artist. So I'm actually a professional mixed martial artist and the current uh, reigning RFL. Remind me what RFL stands for. Okay. So RFL is the Rough Fight League. Ah. It's a international league out of Jamaica. Hmm. Just an all-round artist. All right. And, and maybe and maybe an extrovert or maybe an introvert, right? <laughs> We're hoping to find out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a Gemini, so I'm both. Oh, my. Oh. Interesting. And that is, that. no, that's a thing. There is an intro-extro, you know, kind of description out there. So let's talk about it. You know, we, we want to kind of make way for some of the misconceptions that might be out there about what an introvert is what an extrovert is yeah what do you think describes an introvert versus extrovert and why do you say you're both um i think an extrovert is someone who is unafraid of attention and perhaps sometimes seeks attention mm -hmm. as a part of his own his or her own enjoyment self-validation and just general um just Sometimes I suppose it just it's just a natural state of being. Okay. And then an introvert in my mind is someone who is less able to express himself and perhaps just prefers not being in the spotlight and kind of like having the mystery of their own character be, you know, what what's more prevalent than anything mm. else. Very That's interesting. Very interesting. So when when do you feel that you are being an introvert since you say you're both? When are you unable to express yourself and kind of fitting what you just described? Yeah. Well, I think it's, you know what's interesting is like I know several artists who on the big stage are very, you know, that's what they do. They're, they're in mm. front of people, they perform and people see them. But in their everyday lives, they're actually quite to themselves and shy and like introverted you know they're not they're not really trying to always be around people and kind of want to just kind of seclude themselves mm. to their own company ah uh, so funny or, you said that because there is you know what they call either an extroverted introvert or a social introvert so that artist or artists that you're describing would kind of fit that so they're able to and enjoy in certain spheres to be social, being on the stage, but as you say, in their kind of downtime, in their spare time, what they prefer is that kind of time alone. Exactly, yeah. You know what I, I would like to add here to just to kind of give people a better idea of what I'm defining as intro and extra is more of where you get your charge, you know? For extroverts, I feel that they literally get recharged. Like if you think about a plant needing sun, mm -hmm. they are charged by interacting with people. 
Um, and then you have introverts who, if you want to use another plant with the sun, is drained, you know, by interacting with people. Yeah, okay. Right? I don't think it has much to do with... Yeah, that's the... a great definition. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> but I, I don't think it has much to do with actually the enjoyment of the interaction or the, or, or the dislike of the interaction is just where you get your charge. So for introverts, because I... I, know, I feel like that charge, mm-hmm. that charge and enjoyment could be interchangeable, though. Oh. Well... You know what I mean? Like, if, if I'm charged by being in the company of, of others, it's because I enjoy that company mm-hmm. in mm-hmm. some way. So th- there's another concept, as you're saying, that you have, you have extroverts who are actually shy or extroverts who have social anxiety right so they actually get their charge like they'll get depressed if they don't interact with people but they only want to do it with their close friends and family because that's where they're comfortable but otherwise they're just shy you know but it's not that they're an introvert that's not why they're by themselves they're kind of just afraid of the social setting so that's still an extrovert because the charge is literally coming from interacting with people and when we say charge too um you know because it's not that an extrovert won't need downtime, as in they won't need, they won't want time to themselves. But if you're thinking of, you know, I've had a rough week and I need to, when is that time when you kind of refill your cup? Is it with the company of others, one person or 50? The number doesn't matter. Or is it on your own? Again, you feel that's interchangeable, says a Gemini. <laughs> I think, really? I think even I think every extrovert has moments where they just need to, you know, rebuild by themselves. But mm-hmm. I think I'm more of an extrovert than an introvert. Okay. What is interesting though is that I find that around certain people, more of my personality comes out. Mm. The more comfortable so, you the are, more comfortable. the more comfortable I am with them. So mm-hmm. which is what, like, what what do you call that then? You know what I mean? Because if I'm around like a hundred thousand people, or we're on we're on TV or whatever, whatever. Mm-hmm. Or I'm yeah, sure. so you, that would be a shy extrovert, you know. You're, you're experiencing fear of failure. You're experiencing anxiety, judgment, judgment yeah, right? Yeah. But it doesn't take away from the fact that you want, you know, the charge with people you do like to reset. So it's kind of like after you come off TV, do you want to go sit with your friends and family, or do you want to go sit alone, type of thing? Yeah, and and for for introverts, it's the opposite. You know, you literally need to be alone in order to recharge and you can enjoy social Mm -hmm. settings you can enjoy being on stage you can literally love it it could be a passion to be a musician but you you'll get drained by the experience it's literally taking away from you and not charging you so you have to take moments alone in order to be able to go back on the stage nothing to do with what you like or Mm -hmm. dislike so it's it's interesting. <laughs> so we have a couple questions. Go ahead. Sorry, we have a couple of- questions just to kind of see how we all think about it and see if there's there's some differences in how we think about those questions. So the first one is the first one is would you say that I'm an introvert or an extrovert? <laughs> you really not- yes. Yep. I think you know. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's funny. And I think I I asked a question at the beginning of the show as well. And I think most people who um, would have come in contact with me would believe so as well, because I do enjoy Mm -hmm. socializing. I absolutely enjoy it. I I love being around people. I love um, sharing my thoughts and hearing other people's thoughts and just exploring the world in that way. But I will be drained after. I'll have a conversation. I need a day to recoup <laughs> from my wonderful journey, you know, outside in the world. Yeah, but, you know, I think even when you get charged by an interaction, sometimes even though you're charged by an interaction, it's still you still have to kind of like process the energy. So if, if, even if it's not um, being drained by the interaction, but you, like you literally feel great about it and you feel good. Mm-hmm. We still need that time to kind of like sit 
sit back and process the energy and not necessarily run into another interaction or another five interaction. Mm, yeah, no, I get you. I get you. Like, I can think of maybe coming home from work. Like, I had a great day at work. We, we mash up two deadlines and we killed two presentations and it was wonderful. And not having the energy, though, to meet my husband or my son at home. Like, literally needing, had a be beautiful day, but needing at least 30 minutes to decompress from that day. Yeah, from the day to start giving them energy. Because for an extrovert, I feel a day like that, they'd come home with champagne, pumped. <laughs> like, Ready to party. No, the day was, let me tell you about it, you know? So that's what I... Let me bring a sports in here, though. All right, okay. So fighting is a very high adrenaline activity. Mm -hmm. And there's something called an adrenaline dump. Hmm. And what an adrenaline dump is, is after you get that high, just like when you drink coffee or, or Red Bull or whatever, mm -hmm. and your heart's pumping and your body's going, because your body can only take so much. And especially when you ramp up your body, there's mm -hmm. always a, a downside, like you slide back down the slope and it's, right. it's a crap. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're saying that almost... The more pumped up you are, is the more mm. you crash. Yeah. So I don't think it, it affects whether or not you're introverted or extroverted. I think it's just about your energy and how and how you're able to process the energy. Oh. I think Kyle is probably more of an introvert than he thinks, <laughs> honestly. <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> because I've spoken to people who don't require as much downtime as you are. They literally have told me that, listen, when I interact with people, it gives me mm -hmm. everything I need yep. to move forward. Yep. You know, and yeah. that's and, the, the, and without it, without it, they are a complete mess. The crash is from being without people. That. Yeah. yeah, like you know, the the more they're around people, yeah. the more they spend time, the better. Like, the they better keep going. Yeah, you know, it's, it's like it just keeps fueling. It's, it's, yes. it's a plug in to the socket. It yeah. never goes out. You so know, so Kyle probably might even be more of an introvert than he thinks. You yeah. know. Because he does love his family and his and his his energy with people, but, but he needs to decompress. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of an introvert trait. But let's see, let's see. We, right. we have some other questions <laughs> to see. All right, let's see. This is All an right. easy one. Do you have more or less small talk than the average person? I don't know how much the average person. Has. <laughs> right, well, I had the same thought, Kyle. <laughs> Or, okay, or do you, are you okay with it? Do you enjoy small talk? I, like, how do you feel about small I, talk? I, I've realized over the years that I'm not great at small talk. Really? He's an introvert. I'm, I'm telling you. <laughs> I, I absolutely try, but you know what I do every time? I go, hi, how are you doing? It's so good to see you. And then I'm, I'm out. I'm <laughs> Me too. <laughs> You're such an introvert. Really? Oh because I, guess what? That, I dread it. <laughs> extroverts. Love, love small talk. It's like yeah. small talk is their playground. Like this is yeah. This is where we. This is it, man. Let's let's talk it out. Very very smallly. <laughs> I want to crawl on the rock. Like take me out of this now. So. <laughs> Please, how do we get out? <laughs> Yes, yes, he's a, he's a, my yeah. brain, maybe it's just, you know what I mean, I'm just not that great at it, like, the talent isn't there, like, I don't have the gift of gab enough to be like, yo, you know what I mean, I just find a conversation out of thin air, you know? Yeah, no, but how do you feel in it, so, he's if, saying it takes energy, yeah, it's gonna yeah. take him energy, it's, a, it's, work. it's work, it's work, it's literal work, all right, are you more of a listener or a talker? I think both, I think both. Do I think you're more of a listener or a taco? I think, I guess that one's a tough one because it's not that you are this never listening, always talking person, nor are you the really quiet, just always taking in, you know? So I think that's a tricky one. I get, but there are some people who just don't stop, you know? Like, so I don't think that you're. <laughs> Stop no, that. no. I don't think Kyle's no. an extrovert. This yeah. has really changed my mind about you. <laughs> <laughs> like we fully brought you in as the extrovert. Yeah, you're supposed to be the expert in extrovert. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> All right, next one. <laughs> but what's funny, I would think you're an extrovert too. And it here sounds it like we're both intros. Yeah. All so right, here we go. Question number three. If you do nothing and see no one all day, how do you feel? No, in one day I'm fine. I can't do it for two days. Oh, can't do can't it. Do it that two. sound extrovertish. Yeah. I can't. Yeah, I can do it for two. <laughs> no, man. I think I get, I get cabin fever. Really? I, I need to go. 
to mm. people and that no. sounds yeah. very extroverted. That's, that's very, yeah. yeah. No man, I'm good. Introverts when they're alone with no one, that's when you find peace. That's when you that's when you create. That's when yeah, you become creative. That's when the bright idea pops in your mind. Mm-hmm. This is when you get to, you know, just do the things that you needed to all yeah, week. It's yeah. kind of like you wait for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I bring that up. Like even when I'm writing, so if I'm writing a film or I'm writing a treatment or something like that, mm-hmm. there are times when I can be alone and do it, and then there are other times where I want to go to a cafe and I want wow. to be around people. And oh, then do it. no. Yeah, that's very extroverted. That's very, yeah. yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right. Okay. If you're invited to go out, do you immediately accept and follow through? For the most part, yes. No, okay. And so that's the thing with so me. Then, like, when I'm invited, I'm immediately saying yes, I want too. to go. And genuinely feel charged by the thought of it. But when the day comes... But I flake. <laughs> <laughs> I flake. I'm a big, big flaker. Like, I can't muster up the energy to actually do it. execute yeah. this plan and kyle knows this like he takes lit- energy kyle will literally be like okay no go get ready we're going i'm like ah. <laughs> <laughs> i mean i have a great time when we when i go but to to, to get to it it takes it takes you know yeah. like i have to go plug in now and get ready Hmm. I believe you. I believe you. And that's the difference. And you know, generally an extrovert is always ready. Like they're always let's do this. What's interesting is Rashid is an extrovert. Like even when he's dog tired, drained, just came from a bicycle ride, hungry, he is so down for fellowship. Fellowship is his word. Like he loves being around that's people social. and interaction. Yeah. He he he's he's depressed without it. Great example. So my thing is being in person with people. Like if if that's kind of like how I maintain relationships. So what mm-hmm. I used to do, especially before I got married. So before I got married, but it's really before I started training seriously and started fighting. Um, I would always drive around to people's houses with with my room. Yeah, I was addicted to it, and that's something that I needed to do every single day. But I also and wonder, really, like, funny enough, I just traded one for the other because that's the same. The training. training, yeah, yeah. you're getting, you're that. getting it and in I a different way. You get the people. charge. Yep. Yeah. So oh. I mean, you kind of literally just answered the next one was when do you feel your best and most energized? And it's it sounds like a combination of both. Almost. Yeah. It is. yeah. It really is. Mm. So like. Say, say today, for instance, I'm in the hills, away from everything, visiting my mother, and it's gonna, and my dog. And it's <laughs> gonna be like a wonderfully, like it's gonna, I'm gonna feel amazing for doing it. Mm-hmm. But I couldn't stay here for three days in a row. Like, wow. <laughs> I couldn't do it. And I would but need I'm like, three that days. Like heaven, the dog and mom and the hills. I, I would need three days, Kyle, before I go back down. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like no, man. Just based on your definition of introvert, extrovert in the beginning, mm-hmm. and that's kind of, I feel like, what society's idea of what it means, what it means is, and kind of almost sometimes introverts feel inadequate. Or that something is wrong for, for feeling the way they do. And not being able to show up and step up and, um, you know, be there for the birthday parties. And, and I think it's important to just point out that, listen... Nothing is wrong with you. There are so many people like you. Mm-hmm. And you can do all of these things, but just make sure you put in time for your charge. Yeah, whatever that is. You know what is? Mm-hmm. I think, like, there are pros and cons to both. Yes, mm-hmm. agreed. You know I mean? Let's talk about like, that. <laughs> yeah. If you're an extrovert, there's a huge con to always kind of, like, seeking validation and energy from other people. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like, you it's true. To not be able to give yourself that charge yeah. and yeah. That, you know just find that that comfort in your own solace mm. is a, can be a very difficult thing for that person. I love that. Yeah, you're right. And, and likewise, as a as an introvert, introvert, like there are clearly going to be times that you just need to be comfortable in a crowd. Yeah. But, you know to, to, mean, so, yeah, if you're in a relationship, for your, mm-hmm. for your, family, your family members who. From for your spouse, your spouse might be the opposite to you. Yeah, I need yeah, that yeah. from you. So my wife is an introvert, and I'm an extrovert. Well, 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. More, more of an extra. More of an extra. Yeah, than an intro. Yeah. Mm-hmm. International Women's Day. I'm trying to get her to take a picture so that I can say, hey, happy International Women's Day. She's like, she nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, thanks, oh, Kyle. Right. <laughs> She's like, nope. But what I found um, with my relationship, because, you know, Rashid's an extra, I'm an intro. What happens is when he leaves me alone and I get that time to decompress, he always laughs because I'm always coming to him. Because then you're ready. I, I'm ready. always finding him. I'm always coming to him. Because I, I get my charge. I'm so ready for whatever he needs. <laughs> so you have to get it, though. But if I don't get it, I really can't give him. I just can't. I don't, well, you know, depending on the type of introvert that you are, I don't think that it's a discomfort with social settings. You know, I think that that's part of the idea or stigma that's attached to it. That we're, we're kind of saying it's not really a discomfort with social settings or I'm uncomfortable in this. It's that, again, it does take from me or, you know, like that, that exer- exertion of energy. And it's more that than I'm uncomfortable. Say, for instance, you're at a cocktail party for a business event, mm-hmm. right? A business event where, I, where you're there to network. Mm-hmm. But you find yourself getting to that point where you're draining and you're, you kind of just want to, but you've not, you've not really milked the party. You've not really milked the opportunity. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying they're cons and pros. And no, I agree. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. That would be the con. But you know, I would say to that person who's an introvert who is trying to start a business, no, not, not don't start the business, but get a team. Like yep. know your strengths, know your weaknesses. And go get your extrovert partner yeah. to do this to that. Yeah, <laughs> and then you you kick back and write the proposal. You know, when you get home in the night mm-hmm. because he's you know what I mean. Exactly. Know, know your know strengths. Yourself, yeah. Don't feel bad about who you are. Know who you are. Yeah. And set yourself up for success exactly. with who you are. Exactly. I agree. It takes a village, man. We're all <laughs> supposed to be different. You know? and there's Embrace a, your uniqueness. And yeah. Something, you know, you were mentioning like... Because you're an introvert, no, uh, no, can't work with no partner because of the introverted nature. Well, I think that's it's... So, the, uh, that's, no. I, I don't know if that's going more into something else versus their introverted nature if that makes sense because again you know as someone who is married to an introvert you can you see that there is a balance that you can create when there is when there are these kind of two opposing sides so it's not uncommon and even when we're you know initially when i was doing like looking up things about this it's very common for the mix where it's an introvert and an extrovert in a partnership of any kind they find so, so you can they find each other that's <laughs> that that tends to be the balance you know so it, do, it, it if, if your introverted partner is a problem it's more it, i don't know if it's that <laughs> is the problem <laughs> i mean the business is, yeah. is your husband an introvert or extrovert 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 all yeah, the way so it's super interesting so we're all yeah in, yep yeah. If Regina is actually an introvert, which I don't know well, if she is. She is. Rashid, it would make sense because she said Rashid is the extrovert. Yep. Yeah. Yep. And it's the same thing with yeah, Sean, and the introvert. introvert. Yeah. And then me being the extrovert. Exactly. And, and yeah. It makes sense. It makes yeah, sense. Kind of Okay. Gotcha. Well, we're kind of coming up towards the end of our, our nice little chat here. Do you have any final words or final thoughts you'd like to share before we wrap it up? I don't know how much people are concerned about whether they're introverted or extroverted. I think that actually knowing if you're an introvert or extrovert is life changing. One, because you can take the time you need to decompress if you're an introvert or go where you need to be if you're an extrovert. And then also your partner can understand that, hey, when I say I don't have time for you right now, it's not about you. Or when I say I'm too tired to interact with you, it has nothing to do. It's not a rejection. Mm -hmm. It's not, I don't like you. I don't love you. It's literally a need for me to recharge, to decompress. Or when I, as an extrovert, you have to go out and you need to be a friend. It's not that you don't want to stay home with me and you don't like being around me. You literally need Mm -hmm. to go out to recharge. And if you understand this about yourself and in your partner, it makes for a lot more harmonious relationship because it doesn't become about the persons. It's about just really accepting and understanding who, who, who they are. What Regina just said really put things in perspective for me because the truth is, and I mean, for the most part, we're very good at understanding each other to do with, you know, when we, we don't want to do something or can't manage something. Mm-hmm. And um, 
like, because literally today I was pressuring her about the pictures and she was just like, oh, I'm too tired, I can't do it, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. And I was like, oh, stop being difficult. Mm. But she really just is in that space right now and I have to just understand. But yes. even the way she describes it, that I'm too tired, like, I can really resonate with that. Like, it's just a picture, but it is going to take that energy from her to do it. And you she know, doesn't and have like, it I don't right have now. it. I just don't have it. <laughs> exactly. And for you going, oh, she's... It's, it's also about knowing that it's going to be put out there. The yeah, moment. everything that comes with it. Energy right now. Yeah. Doesn't want that to happen. Yep. Yeah, yep. and she's not being difficult. She's not. It's just where she, she is. is. She's... No, yeah, she, yeah. no, I get you, but that's the point I'm making too, right? Yeah. That it can, if we don't understand these things, this is why it's so important to me, this mm-hmm. whole topic, is that it can come across difficult. Yeah. But knowing what it means really gives you that power to... to to really accept it to, to make it work and you can kind of embrace it now yes you know, embrace from a, yeah you embrace it from a different from a different place imagine you give her some introvertness imagine <laughs> you set her up with some introvertness you know Back side Back <laughs> set music big <laughs> candlelight see you later bye Rochelle enjoy yes, <laughs> yo <I'm> telling you <laughs> she has a charge up <laughs> <laughs> Should I go post for you them time then? <laughs> All right. Or just give her like an hour. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Yeah, that, that works. That works. <laughs> that works. But yeah, this was such a great, a great conversation, Kyle. I'm so, so happy you decided to join us all the way from Jamaica. It's Thank been you so much. A pleasure. Absolutely. So fun. You're our first official guest, so congrats to you. <laughs> Welcome to the I and I podcast. Yes. <laughs> Oh, thank Much you. love to love you too. too. All right, Kylos. All right, Kyle. Hold on the fort. Tell mommy hi. Yes. And Rush. Okay, we'll do. All right. All right. Bye. Bye.